Namaste everyone. In today's video, we are going to see some more operators on error handling. So I hope that uh, previous Sunday's video was useful for you. And in this video, we are going to see all about retry. Yeah, I mean, uh, if something happens, if something wrong happens, uh, we always try to retry some things, right? So this is our second behavior that we would like to try if we can't handle the error, like uh, retry that stuff. So let's go ahead and see the retry operator in action. So what we are going to do here is chain retry here. So this is going to be a little bit of advanced method in terms of the previous one. So let's go ahead and see how do we do it. So we are going to get the error here. Okay, so that's nice. Now what I'm going to do here, I'm going to see that if the error is a type of um, IO exception, then I'm gonna return true. Otherwise, I'm gonna return false. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna write a method here retrying. Okay, it's print something like retrying. Okay, so uh, what this uh, simply means is if we get an error here, uh, we are going to check whether this is a type of IO exception, then we are going to retry this one more time. So uh, eventually we are going to get error from this because we are using observable.error but in the real scenarios you are going to get error like uh, something happens if the internet is not on then you are going to get an error. So something like that. So you can retry based on the type of error that you are getting. So in this case we are getting an exception here simply. So we are checking whether this is a type of IO exception then we are going to retry this otherwise not. So let's go ahead and try to run and see what happens here. So let's go ahead and run it. So it directly prints that this is an example error. So it is not printing this retrying portion here simply because uh, it is uh, not retrying this specific portion here. So let's go ahead and try to convert it to IO exception. So what it will do, it will go through this uh, observable one more time to ex uh, try to execute that specific portion which get given you the error. So let's go ahead and try to run it here. And there we go. It, it, it keeps it keeps retrying, right? So uh, there is a problem with the retrying, guys. Uh, so if you are using retry, you need to be really careful that when to stop retrying. I mean, uh, suppose a guy has, uh, you know, turned off their internet permission, and you just put a block like retry. So this is going to keep retrying the API call in this case, right? So this is not going to be a useless uh, this use case uh, uh, that you should be using retry. So there are lots of other uh, example of retry. So let's go ahead and see one more. So the example that I have given right now uh, is going is a very feasible example for retry with a number. So what we are going to do here, we're going to put some something like three here. So what it's going to do here, it is going to retry this specific operation for three times. I mean, it's going to be very hard for you to show this one in the, if we are not doing something uh, in the in the real case. So it's going to be very tough to show you guys, but uh, trust me, it works. Uh, so what it is going to do here, suppose you're uh, calling an API and you get an exception for some kind of exception and you put a retry block here. Uh, so it's going to keep retrying that specific uh, task for three more times. So so this is the case with this retry here. So if you understand this uh, specific retry, there is another block like uh, re retry until. So let's go ahead and see this. So this is another example observable here. Uh, so this basically also emits the error. So what we're, what we're going to do here, we are going to put retry until here. So let's go ahead and try to put retry until here. <clears throat> and before we do something, uh, we are gonna take an atomic integer here. So atomic integer here, there we go. I need to put new here. Okay. And uh, okay. So uh, we're gonna ch uh, be, uh, before that retry until we're gonna do one more thing called do on error so if you haven't watched our first video episode regarding the you know error handling operators you should <laughs> go ahead and watch this because we have already covered this uh, do on error here uh, so let's go ahead and uh, see that if we are getting an error what we are, we are gonna do here is uh, we're gonna increment so we're gonna increment the atomic integer here 
that's great uh, it is great. basically atomic integer starts from uh, zero and if you call this method it's going to increment one by one so it's a very simple and straightforward method method so you should should not be worried about this atomic integer so you can uh, go ahead and check how it works and all that so but i don't recommend you to go here to check this atomic integer right now so when you are done with the rx java you can go ahead and do it so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna uh, retry on uh, in the retry until it takes a boolean supplier so as you can see it also it it is a interface with one method so it is a functional interface so, so we can use our lambda here so let's go ahead and uh, try to use our lambda function here so it basically uh, gives you an empty block here uh, and we are going to retry until uh, the atomic integer is greater than or equals to 3 so what it is what what it simply means that it is going to retry until the uh, atomic integer is 3 or, or equals to, uh, it is greater than or equals to 3 so it is going to start from 0 here okay so it is going to start from 0 and it is going to uh, keep in increment in this do and on arrow block here so it is going to go to that block here so it's uh, let's go ahead and uh, print, uh, put some pr print method for you so it will be really useful for you to understand what's going on here because if i just say this it's going to be very tough for you to understand so let's go ahead and uh, put some print statement here oh, it's not going to be uh, a return statement uh, okay so what i'm gonna do here is i'm gonna put some uh, statement like atomic integer dot get uh, so it you can sh see that what is the value right now here and uh, what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna pre return this atomic integer there we go and I'm gonna put a print statement here saying that retrying there we go it's very simple and straightforward so let's go ahead and run this and see what is going on okay so it's fine uh, so uh, we are going to get the exception here as uh, it is obvious so we go to this block and the atomic integer right now is zero and uh, what it's going to do here it is going to be in it is going to increment this atomic count counter but at some point it is going to go to this block here and it is going to increment this two to three right so what's going to happen here is when it is three or greater than equals to three it is going to stop retrying so in this point it, it stopped retrying and it just returns the error here so I hope it is useful for you guys and if you have any doubt please comment below or message me on any of my social handles and don't forget to hit the subscribe and bell icon so that you don't miss the video that we upload every Sunday. So it's me to here signing off. Thank you for stopping by. See you next Sunday.